just don't have time right now. It's like we say that very often. Time means something different to each and every one of us, right? So we spend those minutes, which are more precious than most of us realize, on different things and more importantly, different people. KSHB 41 News anchor Taylor Hemnes met a local woman who has plenty of things to spend her time on, and she knows how valuable each of those minutes are. Students often look at the clock and hope time passes quickly. But at Blue Valley High School, this teacher hopes to savor every second. Pero si, es correcto. Catherine Sanfle teaches Spanish, but she's also taking time to teach students about living with perspective. This is going to be something that's going to affect me in this room for the rest of my teaching career. So pretending like I'm fine and ignoring it isn't really helpful for me or for them. Catherine has stage four breast cancer. To imagine the day that I have to give this up because it will happen is tough because there will be a time that I'm not well enough to do this job anymore. I hope to be able to choose. I don't know that I will get that. No one would fault Catherine for making that choice now. Why are you still coming here? My oncologist asked me the same thing. Um, I think part of what brings me joy and fills my life is connection with people. At this point, I am doing this job for me. No es eso, no es correcto. But Catherine continues to plan future lessons uh, she hopes will stick with her students. I sure hope that given different circumstances, I would still be someone who students would remember. Which side do you like better? At home with her family, Catherine is doing the same thing, living for the day and planning for her last. It is very easy for me to imagine this is the last X, Y, Z. Um, I'll never get a haircut again. Like, you know, it's just one of those things that it's like, oh, okay. That part of my life is over, but I don't have to live in the agony of it because I want to suck the joy out of it. The cancer has progressed to several spots in Catherine's skeleton, her liver, lungs, and now the lining of her brain. She and her husband made the difficult decision to tell their three young sons. It was just time. It's like a virus mm. that um, you can get and sometimes you can get it in your, like, um, bones. I ask questions like, um, sometimes I do, like, I think I, I think you might die when I'm, like, 18 or 15 or something, yeah. Keeping them in the dark, Catherine says, was not an and option. Cancer is going to kill mommy someday because... I don't want them to be caught off guard when it, when it does. So the family is capturing moments what? that will last. Tell me what you remember about your birthday in your life. I want to take a video with you yes. after your baseball game where we're in it together and I'm telling you how proud I am of you because I want you to be able to watch it when I'm not physically there to tell you anymore. She's journaling, too, with a book for each of her boys. What I think Tonyo's going to need to hear when he turns 21 is not the same thing that I think Enzo's going to need to hear when he turns 21. And keeping boxes with things like special plates and money for life's milestones. I gave them each 20 bucks for their first drink when they turned 21 so that I could be the one to buy it for them. Catherine Sanfle fills her days with thoughts and plans for a future that her children and her students will have and she likely won't. She knows it's time well spent. I may not get to choose how many more days I get on this planet, but for today, I get to choose what my outlook is. The clock ticks a little softer in my head on those days.
Taylor Hymnus, KSHB 41 News.